I'd like to welcome you all to the ESP Websites Banners webinar. My name is Amber and I will be your facilitator for today. Before we begin, I would like to make everyone aware that the information in this session will not be applicable to custom websites. If you think you might have a custom site but are not 100% sure, please type your ASI number in the chat box or questions box and I will check your site and then email you after this class, okay? All right, so let's get started. First and foremost, what is a banner? Um, so if I go to one of these little websites, a banner is a large graphic with a generic imagery and possibly a slogan that spans the width of the site. So, you know, something like this. All right, so are we ready to update? Great. Before updating the banner image, our first step is to know what template our site is using because the size of the graphic will vary depending on the layout. To check the template, we're gonna click on the website's admin, which I'm already there. Um, so we can open up our browser and go to searchesp.com if you're not there already. And we'll use our ESP account to log in and then we'll click on the website's admin tab. We'll click on the edit site button on the site that we wanna change the banners on. Once we click on the edit site button, we will be automatically brought into the edit templates and colors section. So as you can see, we're in the templates and colors section. We're gonna click on that just to ensure that we're on the correct link. The template that you're currently using is denoted by a large check mark. And just a side note, if you're not seeing a check mark here, but note that the template is selected, it is likely that you do have a custom site. So now, as you can see, I have the branded template. So if we are working with Summit or branded, our site will also contain category tiles. These Im images can be updated as well using the same process as replacing the banner. So if you'd like to have category tiles appear on the template other than Summit or branded, please contact your ASI account manager. All right, so now that we know what template we have, we're gonna click on the size requirements for the banner image. So to do this, we can click on the help and support tab right here. And then the suggested article you'll see is banner sizes by template. Over here we have the templates by name, the number of images, and the width in height and pixels. Um, so very cool, so if you have a designer, um, you can always have them work on something customized, or you can use our stock images, which is what we're gonna go through first. Um, so I have branded, so that is in the 1500 by 725 pixel category, which is what we're actually working with today, okay? So now I'm gonna close this out. And now there are two options for updating the banner image. So we can use ASI provided graphics or ones that we have created on our own. So let's start by using an ASI provided banner. Um, you are able to replace a banner image with one pro provided by us. So to do this, we'll go to the banner downloads page and that's getespwebsites.com forward slash banners dot ASP. Once we're on the banners download page, we can scroll down to see all of the cool stock images that we offer. Um, so let's choose a little theme here. So I'm going to go with something light. How about the volunteer sign up? So let's click get image URL. So we're gonna choose three images for this particular template. And on a Windows computer, after we click get image URL, we're gonna press Control C on a Windows computer or the Command plus C key on a Mac to copy the image source code to your clipboard. Once it's been copied, let's go back to the previous tab and then we're gonna click on Pages and Menus, Advanced Page Manager, and then as you can see a little advanced design section warning pops up. Um, just letting you know that any modifications back here may cause changes to the template or design aspects. Click OK. And then we're going to be brought into Manage Pages tab. We're going to click on Edit Page. And then from here, under Select Page, we're going to change it from About Us to Home. Okay, and then as you can see back here, if you've never been back here before, it might look a little bit scary, but I promise you it's not. We have our modules over here on the left that are all available for you to use. We have our header, um, and just to give you a brief overview, the header is like the main 
um, header of the site. So right here we have different zonings of the site, right? So this is like zone one, think of it as. So we have our text module with some code in it, some social network links. Our end user status is our create account option. We have our navigation links, our logo, and our shopping cart are all in the header zone. If we scroll down, we have the word main over here, and then we have text modules, various text modules. Our banners are likely going to be anywhere above, or like right below or right above the word main. So this one for branded is actually located directly above the word main, but let's say I didn't go into the correct one and I didn't know where I was going. Click edit, oh okay, that's a category tile, not the right one, close, no harm, no foul. Let's click on edit. And this is the one that we're gonna be working with. So I'm going to start replacing the first banner. And to do this, we're going to right click, highlight in blue, click on properties. And then as you can see, we have the width and height that we're gonna erase. And then we're also going to change the image source code Control V or paste into this image source box to paste our image link. I'm gonna do this two more times, so don't worry. Um, if you miss it, we are going to go over this again. Um, and then the alt text is actually if you wanna be in ADA compliance. So this is for your visually impaired customers. Um, so let's go back to that image to see what it was so that way we can best describe it. Um, so it's three volunteers looking over a clipboard. Um, so I can put that in the alt text so that way it can read that three volunteers looking over clipboard. And that way um, we can cater to visually impaired people as well on our site. All right, so let's click OK. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna do the next one. So let me grab another image from getespwebsites.com forward slash banners ASP. Um, so let's get this one too, get image URL and then control C to copy or command plus C on a Mac, okay? And then we're gonna go back to the tab. We're already on the image. We're gonna right click, click properties, and then replace the image source code again. Um, we're gonna take out the width and height. And then same thing, if I want to describe what the image is, um, to be in ADA compliance, I can put five women um, in a group. Five women in a group. However you want to describe it. The long description is a little bit longer, um, so that way you can, you will be able to, you'll be able to put that description in. Okay, so let's click OK, and then that one's updated. So now we're going to do the last one. And then after this, I'm going to show you guys how to change it with a custom image, okay? So we're going to grab our last image, and let's do this little campus. All right, so we're going to grab our last image, right-click, click Properties, Erase the Width and Height, and then this was like a group of students walking. And then we're gonna paste in the image source code. And I actually had a question asking how can they read the images? That's a very good question. So there's um, voice software, like voice command software that visually impaired people use. Um, so it will read everything on the screen. It's really cool, um, but that is a good point. All right, so I'm gonna save and then we can preview to make sure that our change is held. And then the next thing we are going to do is apply um, our custom images. Okay, so at this point, um, as you can see, we have all of our images applied. If I wanted to publish it, I could, but we're not going to because I'm gonna show you how to um, update via a custom image. And it looks like we have another question. Let me see here. When I right click the properties box, it doesn't pop up. It asks to save the image. Um, oh, if you're seeing a link that says copy and save, is that what you're seeing? So if you're seeing a link, so if you click edit here, 
And over here, if you're seeing instead of close and save, copy and save, um, that's fine. You can click that and then you'll be able to open it up for editing, okay? Okay, perfect. So now we're going to do a custom image now. All right, so to do that, we're gonna go to our media library and we have to upload each image that we wanna use. So I'm gonna grab my images now to click upload media and then I'm gonna go to banners and I'm gonna upload each corresponding image. Um, now we already looked up the image requirements um, but I'll show you that again in a minute, just in case you missed it. All right, so we're going to click Open. And then we're going to upload the next one. And I think these have already been uploaded, so I'm actually going to go forward and move on. But you would upload each one in succession. And then we're going to go back to My Sites. And then we're going to click Edit Site. And then we're going to click Pages and Menus. We're going to go on the Advanced Page Manager. And then click on Edit Page. And now for Select Page, we're going to change it from the About Us to the Home Page. And then scroll down past the word Header. And then we're going to click on Edit. And then as you can see right here, so it's very similar, right? Instead of right-clicking where we see properties, we're going to just simply left-click. Just to highlight it in blue, we're going to click on this golden folder up here. It brings us into our media manager where we just uploaded our pictures, right? So let's hover over and click on select file. And then we're going to scroll down. And we're going to repeat the process. So instead of right clicking, we're going to left click. No properties are brought up, just highlighted in blue. And then we're going to click on the image manager. And we're going to hover over the image that we want to replace with next. And we're going to click on select file. And then same process, we're going to scroll down. Left click, not right. And then we're going to click on the image folder and we're gonna hover over and click on select file. Okay, so now we have replaced all of our images, but we still wanna add that um, text, right, for the ADA compliance, we need to change that. So let's right click, click properties. You can always update this, by the way. Um, so these are embroidery threads. Embroidery threading machine, okay. And then we'll scroll down right click, click properties, and then let's choose this. So we're going to type in embroidery machine 2, or whatever we want to put, um, embroidery machine with two women, okay, and then we're going to right click, click properties, and this is a tote bag with a scarf, so we're going to type in tote bag with scarf. If only I could type today. All right, and then we're going to click OK to save the changes, and then we can save. And now we're going to scroll up, click preview. All right, so we're going to click publish. Okay, great. So now we have our published site, and as you can see, all of the banners are in place. It's the same process for a category tile. So if you have the summit or branded template, um, if you scroll down, you'll see the category tiles are actually right below. Um, so let me know my changes are published. So your category tiles will be in some of these text modules below. Um, so you just have to check. And to check, you click Edit. And then as you can see, these are one of the category tiles. And then if we click on the Get ESP Websites, scroll up to the top, go back to the original link, and then we have a Download Tiles um, icon. So this is where you can get your category tiles as well. And then we have ones geared towards the specific times and then other fun ones as well. They add 
um, different content here monthly. So our design team is awesome in updating all of this. And then same thing with those um, stock banners as well. So the tiles and the banners are replaced in the same exact manner. Okay, so any other questions? How do you get the size again? Absolutely. So to get the size, you'll go to Edit Website Design, click on the Templates and Colors option. Once you click on that Templates and Colors, click on the little Help and Support tab over here. And then we're going to click on Suggested Article Banner Sizes by Template. And then we have the template name with the number of images and then the height and pixel widths. So we've made the changes live button, so now we can see the live site. I think I already showed you that, but just in case I didn't, we'll click on that. And then there's our updated banners. Um, so if you are interested in learning more about customizing your website, we offer one on the more advanced customization features of ESP websites, one for custom products, and one for company stores. You can also go to kb.asi central to access informative articles for all of ASI's products and services. So this will conclude our webinar. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody.